feeling from 1 to 10 how's your energy uh then i will know how you're feeling in the first day of rfs guys i'm excited yes prayog mali is excited i can see uh, thank you for having with your nice mustache coming here to like bless us with your presence uh you can see like guys like prayog changes like face facial like hair uh, with diwali with the new year coming up like we see like he's yeah perfect thousand percent excited perfect eco i know i can always count on you and meli yes um to be excited yes prayog's mustache is next level guys uh <laughs> yes excited perfect cool guys welcome to the uh essence sessions one of the uh one of the one of the one of the um how you call this um space that you get a chance to reflect and connect with isaac before you all go into this like chaos of all the products functions and talking about all the technicalities which is important but at the end of the day like this is uh we should start with like where how we're gonna connect with all of these operations this is uh, this is also the foundation of yeah we can talk about like how we connect with the organization and why are you here like all this mc term like after six months you are still here uh congratulations which has not been a good term like not there's been like um uh how you say this it's been a challenging six months i would say and uh, you are still here with uh with all of your energy which i really appreciate and uh, I wish you all the best, very best for the next six months as well. Seven months. Okay. And you're still in the beginning of November. Cool. Um, I hope you guys can see my screen. Um, okay. Perfect. So, yeah, as I said, this is our SN sessions. And what are the objectives? This is me. Uh, it's, uh, I was APRD before until like last, last month. I'm working as uh, AP, APNS um, and yeah, I'm very excited to be back and very excited to see the AP faces uh, all around me and yeah, talking to you. So I hope I get the chance to hear your opinions, hear your voice, uh, hear your ideas during this session. Uh, so that will be a good space uh, for all of us to share our opinions and share what we think about Isaac at the end of the day, right? So that's why we are all here. Cool. Uh, before we start with anything else i want you to i want you to put your thinking hats on i want you to like uh, settle down and think a little bit before i want to take you to the future right sit down and think about like whatever all the things that are happening around you right now you might be thinking about your mc replanning or the mc replanning is coming up what i'm going to do with my strategy i my goal is not achieved my lcs are not performing my lcvps are like always uh, texting me email me i don't know what to do with them um all of this stop it like it's okay everything is happening around you you cannot do anything about it at this point right now and you have six more months to go and with the six months let's think about how would isaac look like in the next 50 years imagine 50 years down the line 50 years guys this is 2020 uh this is 2021 50 years down the line it will be 2071 uh, so in 2071 how would isaac look like what kind of things that the world will need like how like you saw like how when the pandemic happened when everything around us started to change uh how things start to change around us as well we start we had to change isaac we had to think about something beyond exchange we had to think about um uh like what are the other things that we can do in order to generate revenue how we can engage our membership without having a physical computers in the region office like we had to think about how we can engage with you without having seen you face to face um every, like in this these kind of touch points right so like imagine like how 50 in the 50 years down the line how the world will look like and how the isaac will look like in that and if you can tell the future isaacers about isaac how would you do it like right now you are in the organization maybe you have been in the organization for the two years three years four years or more than that um and you have been working with different people now we are in the mc you get the chance to work with these people coming from different part of your entity um together in the last six months and if you have to tell about your experience if you have to tell about isaac that you're experiencing right now to the future isaacers in the 550 years down the line how would you say it? right i want to introduce this idea like i think like some of you have already heard about it the idea of like time capsule like have you heard about time capsule have you uh is anyone here know about time capsule I see some people saying yes some people saying no 
uh, cool time capsule is uh, this is basically the idea is that you put some things into um, into a yeah it's it's something that you can store safely for the future you can put anything that you seem valuable anything that you see interesting uh, into this bo particular box and you can um, keep it stored in a safe place and maybe you can say like oh, open this in thousand years open this in 50 years open this box in like 100 years then people will look back and they will see what what you have stored and 50 years uh, before the in, the in the history like how things will look like right so we also have this time capsule in AI office uh, which which uh, put down by I think like Isaacers from uh, like a very long time back and they you can see it in the office and uh, like there are some letters there are some documents that people have put in for the future i suggest to read and uh, they can see like what what they envision the organization look like in the future and the most famous time capsule that we i think we have found is the the one in uh, mit university they discovered the time capsule most recently uh, which was supposed to be uh, open in 2000 uh, to 2090, like 2900 something, uh, 1000 years after the time capsule made. So basically it's a container. So it's a safe that you store some uh, documents, stores anything that you valuable uh, for the future people to use. So imagine that you get the chance to create a time capsule. You have this specific um, uh, opportunity as ISACers, as MCVPs to create a time capsule for 2050. You can add three things. You can only add three things that you like to uh, into this time capsule uh, to capture the essence of Isaac. So when the people in 2050, they open uh, this box, they should be able to see, oh, this is how Isaac looked like uh, in the 50 years uh, before us. It can be a booklet, it can be a pen drive, which containing uh, something that you want to add. Uh, it can be um, it can be anything, t-shirt, band, or anything like that. So my question to you is, what will you add into the time capsule? If you had to tell this story of Isaacers in the 50 years down the line in the generation, how would you say it? Like, what are the things that you like? So I'm going to give you guys uh, some time to think about this. So I want you to come up with three items and I give you a chance to share with it, uh, share with each other about what are the things that you're coming up with. Um, uh, can CC help me with, two, with the breakout rooms? Uh, we can add three people into one, three to four people into one group. And you can give um, around five minutes for them to come up with the idea. Aksha, uh, can you help me with this? Perfect. Breakout rooms are now open. Oh, the silence. <laughs> yeah, can you put the question in the chat as well? I don't know if someone over did it. But I'm gonna do it. Mm. Ah, thank you, Bharat. Recorded, boss. Actually, you may pause the recording. It will be interesting to hear. One person from the group. Iko, go. I'm sorry, I saw Iko raising hand like before, like in in the physical reality. Yes, yeah, I'm so literally raising my hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Iko, you can go. <laughs> okay, hi everyone. Uh, I am Icho, I'm CVPT Amodi of Asik in Indonesia. So basically, the, uh, I was I was in the room with um, 
uh, of one and also like another peeps from Isaac in Malaysia. And maybe if I could share like three things that I would like to uh, put into my, ta my time capsule is the very first one is about sugar cube. I think it is the most important things that actually makes you really, you know, like get the essence of Isaac. And then the second one uh, in Indonesia, we actually have like some kind of statement, which is Indonesian is a home. So I think it actually can make me bring back about like the historical of Isaac Indonesia and how I can actually support Isaac Indonesia to 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 the, the greater the greater of uh, Isaac as a whole, and then the third one is more into like uh, I will try to put like every single uh, moment that I capture into photos or video in one drive and I put the link so like when it comes to 2015 I can actually see my myself before 2015 like how I uh, I grow and how actually I developing myself before so I think that's all. Perfect. Thank you so much, Joe, for sharing. Uh, we had one more person like who's raising the hand. Then I, who's that? Okay, one person. You can go. One more group. Anneke. Is it correct? Okay. Yeah, oh, it's Anneke. Okay, All right. Oh wait. Sorry. Okay, so actually, if I can add three things on my sugar cubes, that will be uh, all of my uh, pictures with my MC team printed. And uh, <laughs> of course, sugar cubes. <laughs> um, yeah, because, uh, yeah, look at them. They're very lovely. That's why I want to put them in my uh, sugar cubes and also my uh, time capsules. And uh, the last thing, if I can add something digitally, I will uh, add my tracker. So that uh, the next generation will see like how hard it is to make the tracker or maybe something is uh, different from uh, my tracker to uh, the newest tracker. So yeah, that's from me. Okay, true operational person, we can see this vibe of like product, product management going on. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, okay, one more person. Uh, is anyone you know, like to share? What do you like to add? No one. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Anyone else like to share? Uh, I can. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait. Okay. So perfect. Uh. So uh. I think I was with Manod and uh, Marco. If I'm pronouncing the names right. Uh. We had many things like uh, some of us said uh, merge, some of us Isaac meeting notes and stuff like that. Uh, but the most interesting one was by Manoj, since he was from a marketing background, he said that I would love to have a blue book with me <laughs> by that time. So yeah, that, 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 that's the thing over there. And yeah, it was, it was interesting discussing overall things. So yeah, uh, these were three, four major things. Perfect. Thank you so much, Usama, for sharing. Yes, makes sense. The Blue Book has all the products. I got other things that we were trying to do. And in this period of time, we can like, yeah, people can definitely uh, think about it. Amazing. Why I want you to think about this? Because this is your representation or this is a thing that comes to your mind when you think about Isaac, right? And these are things that you want to take, like, show to the future, show to the people, okay, this is how Isaac looked like at this point right now. And these are things that we were doing, like these are things that as MCVPs, like these are things that we try to do in our entity. We try to build this tracker, we try to build this, uh, navigate through this challenging period of time when the COVID is happening all around us, when there was no one is like, we're not, we, we're not able to like do exchange and all these things. Um, but at the end of the day, there's something that connect you with the organization. Um, and if I share that from my side, like, wow, this, if I share a story from my side, um, how things got, like, come to this point of building this connection with the organization or identifying what ISAC means to me uh, as an individual, right? Uh, I joined ISAC as, in 2014, you can see, like, very thin guy, you see, like, he has no clue about what to do with life and all this shit. And um, so this is my first project as TL. And yeah, it was very fun time. But for me, like I joined as an IGV member. I joined as a, back then it was IGCDP. I was very excited about the projects. Like I really, really want to like contribute to the projects. I really um, 
I like having uh, EPs around or like going trips with them or like doing the project activity with them, like having conversations with them. This is where I like definitely like I couldn't even like speak English like before I joined Isaac, right? So like and this was a great opportunity for me like to to like improve my skills or like get to know like how things look like in the other part. But for me, like I was so fascinated by the idea of like me being an university student in the first year and I get the chance to do actually something in the community. I actually get the, get the chance to work with people and work with them in order to achieve a goal in the community in the and create an impact out there. That was something big for me. But for me, the whole organization was about that whole organization was about create an impact, create, go and do a social project, like make sure that the community has been impacted, make sure that the EPs are having good experience, make sure that the uh, people you are engaging with, like get the chance to uh, improve their skills, improve their quality so that they will be able to become uh, become these leaders and they will be able to like have a good impression about this community and they can create a bigger impact for the for the world. Right. But the thing is, like. For me, like it took me some time when I was LCB, this is my EB team uh, in 1516. Um, this was until when I have like random conversation with one of my EB member. And I was so persistent about like the idea of like, oh no, we should be investing our resources into creating this project. So creating, go and expand and like creating, uh, like expand to like different communities so that we can actually create more impact in my, uh, in my entity, right? But at the end of the day, like I, like it took me some time to realize, okay, no, the organization is not about that. It's, we are trying to address like more fundamental problem. If you think about the idea of like where all these issues come from, it's come from the idea of, it's come from the fact that like the leadership is being affected or like people who are making decisions at certain level of, uh, at, at, at any certain point, are uh, either like they are failed to making the right decision or they are uh, like the community has been affected from the ma uh, making like some kind of decision that people have been making. So for me, it, it took me some time to understand, okay, yes, like, yes, the, 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 all the things that we're doing right now is also important. The, 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 all the things that we get the chance to like all the EPs that we engage with, all the par partners that we engage with, all the communities that we are engaging with, it's also important. But at the same time, we should also focus on this fundamental idea of like developing leadership so that they can impact a bigger community. So this is a conversation or this is a random observation that happened to me that allowed me to understand like what actually we are trying to do as an organization. I truly believe like you being in here, like this is my perspective. This is my perspective about Isaac, right? Like me, this is me sharing as an individual about like what does it mean to me? For me, it's more like when I see, uh, for, for a simple example, when I see something that happening around me or like that's something concerning for the community my first thought right now is more like what can i what we can do as leaders or what we can who are the leaders who can make an impact to these people rather than like trying to solve that solve that problem at that point right now so this is my perspective but i think believe that the organization is creating that kind of leaders for the world but I want to ask from you, like this is this is this is the idea of like we come in to achieve like we try to achieve peace and fulfillment of human kind of potential. Like we talk about the vision of the organization, but what does it actually means is that for me it's more like creating that that leaders that who can impact the communities around us. So for me to like I want you to ask this question from you: What experience allowed you to connect with the connect and understand the Isaac Essence? Like I believe like you being MCVP, like maybe like you might not be able to go through an experience or maybe like you didn't get the chance to reflect on a little bit, but then I invite you to reflect, um, reflect on your experiences at this point right now. And also like maybe you had an experience that allowed you to understand what this organization is doing and what Isaac is doing and what is my role in terms of uh, helping this organization to achieve that. So if anyone like to share, you can take some time to reflect, that's also fine. Uh, I'm going to keep this space open. If you like to share, you can uh, share. Um, what does it mean? Uh, what experiences allowed you to connect to that second sense?
GV internship in Russia. Thank you, Parav. How about others? LCVP IGV journey. Managing regional conference project. The journey of all the leadership role I take. GV exchange. GV exchange to Kenya and being a P during the COVID-19 pandemic. Nice. What else? MC experience. Every single leadership experience with Isaac. Okay. Perfect. I hope you get the chance to sh uh, reflect a little bit on uh, on the idea and um, how we connect with the organization because it's very important for you to catch to that idea. Because thing is like I'm telling you this because you are in a journey of a one year journey at this point right now as MC members and you are about you have around six months seven months to go but at this at the end of the day like what keeps you going is none other than this fact that the realization that you have toward the organization or realization that you have toward the opportunity that given to you right uh it's more like right now thinking about like i think like if you remember if you were there in the uh our rfs in may we talk about the idea of like the influence the circle of influence that you have as mcvps where you get a chance to work with different stakeholders your lcvp is the fact that your members and the partners and everyone is like have that influence of that can be influenced through your ideas like right now you should be able to understand like this opportunity that you have you are in a position where you can actually create this kind of impact where you can actually create this influence so connecting with the idea of like why you are connecting with the organization is very important for you to reflect on your actions and then for you to take that forward and influencing the people around you uh, but the thing is like world is changing and yes maybe like you join isaac as a member in two years three years uh, in the past but maybe the idea of leadership or maybe ideas of leadership maybe you have question especially during the pandemic like we were pushed to the limits of reflecting on what are we doing as an organization like is this actually relevant like are we actually creating and building leaders that are actually relevant for the current community current world so this is why like we this we um research on the idea of like refreshing ldm and probably like, you get the chance to hear this idea from uh, essence and the question that we were asking is like how can we develop leadership in a rapidly changing world or even that the current our current context around us is changing and how can we still develop leadership how can we make sure that isaac as an organization are engaging with the youth and making sure that they develop certain level of leadership skills so that they will be able to um, create this impact to the world uh, around us and definitely like we came up with the answer of like value-based leadership and understanding that values are timeless concept and understanding that we need to make sure that these values are being um, practiced or these values are being implanted in the young young people around us so that they will be able to create an impact to the community uh, around us and we still believe in the like golden circle we still believe in the idea of like how our organization like what are the things that we what are the element, key elements in the organization that actually help us in creating these leaders we we still believe in the uh, we strive to achieve peace and fulfillment of human kind potential we we understand that the this is the main idea that the organization is building and we want to create a leaders who strive to achieve peace and fulfillment of the human kind's potential in the world uh, in the future we want to make sure that the, we engage and develop youth to create the future for themselves, for their communities, and therefore the world around us. We want to make sure that the youth that we're engaging are becoming a prominent figure or becoming an, a figure that who can take action and understand these community issues, understand the problems around them, and making sure that they are uh, creating an impact to them. 
we want to make sure we still believe the leadership is the fundamental solution we believe like the being creating these leaders is the way that we can actually create a sustainable impact to the world and we want to empower young people to uh, become value-driven leaders who positively impact the world uh, around around them and how we do it still has not changed we enable young people to practice and experience in a challenging environment and at the same time we want to make sure that we provide opportunities that seek to enhance cross-cultural understanding in collaboration with like-minded partners so all these elements that, we are, that you are doing right now and in the part of the organization that you feel connected with yes is still there and only thing that we are trying to be more relevant trying to be more sustainable in the long run to come and we are focusing on value developing value-based leaders we're focusing on our six values and we want to make sure that these values are the one that we are, are focusing to develop in the people youth people that we're engaging with so that they will be able to create this impact uh, around us so my final part of this session like closing in, in here like i want to give you a couple of minutes to think about living isaac every day and i want to take a pen and paper and journal for uh, two, three minutes, I'll give you like two minutes. How will you live as a day? Because you are also part of this organization that who are going through this specific journey. Like we expect you to develop these uh, values as well. We expect, we want you to make sure that you are the people who are developing these values at the first place so that you can create these values uh, in the other people that you're engaging with. How will you live as a every day? What are the things that you want to do? What are the things that you are maybe like you're doing right now uh, that you want to keep continue doing in and or something that you want to embed to yourself that you really really want to practice in the next seven months to come so that you can live isaac every day how will you live isaac every day and what are the behaviors that you want to embed into your day-to-day -day life so i'm going to give you um a one song um for you to reflect on and then uh we can close this place okay okay i'm really sorry that i cannot give you more time at the same time i really like to hear like what you are the ones that you wrote it down but i don't think i will be able to like have time to do that but at the same time i want to wish you uh, in the next upcoming days you can start to practice in this you can keep yourself accountable if not like um talk to mc members and try to keep them accountable uh in terms of actually like leaving isaac every day at the end of the day when you're leaving your uh 
like your role and MC role and moving to a next role or like leaving the organization at the any point of time you will not feel regret uh, about everything that you have been doing in the organization I believe you are doing really great jobs uh, in the MC level we hear every day about all the things that you are doing and we are really proud of you and um, we hope that you get the chance to be a better version of yourself at the end of this MC journey Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys after lunch for the next session. And um, Sarah, or yes, or you can take forward. Um, yes, I, we will see you after lunch for Isuru. But for everyone, we are having a break right now, and we still have one more session before we go into lunch. So um, we will have a break, like right now in Germany.